Hi, I'm Robert from RBC. Again, I've got another demonstration here of an RC car. Uh, you can actually see it in the other video, but uh, it's BOWRON90 shows all of our videos on this uh, stuff that we're, we're testing. And it's supply, supplied by Max Sales in Canvas, Washington. Uh, it's a super hydrophobic spray, two part. Uh, we've been doing it on electrical stuff and doing a lot of testing on phones and we did some on helicopters, metal, uh, but this is one that's pretty cool. I did it on an RC car. Uh, this RC car has already been tested and it's on YouTube under BOWRON90 or RC Waterproofing. You'll find it. But anyway, I'm just going to wet this car up so you can see that this one still works. This is the actual car that was used. And you can see, you know, the water does not stick to any of the electrical. It just beads off the car. So anyway, I'm going to turn this car on here. Oops, hang on a sec, I gotta turn the radio on first. My bad. You can see I'm not an RC professional. I guess you let it link up here. And I guess when I got control here, there's reverse, there's forward. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda run it around over here for a sec. I just got it wet, but we've already tested this car in the water and it, it still hasn't failed on us at all. You can see it works fine. I'm gonna bring it over here real quick and uh, pour a little more water over it, just so you can kind of see. And this one here is a fantasy hobby uh, down in Lakewood. Uh, really good guys, but you can see the water just beads off. I sprayed the uh, receiver, uh, the controller, the motherboard inside, the servo sprayed inside and out for extra protection. I mean, spraying the outside is fine. Uh, I took the motor off, sprayed the motor, uh, sprayed the front and back of the motor. I didn't spray any of this stuff here. Maybe on the next car I will. But it seems to be staying pretty clean after playing in the water and the mud. But anyway, what we did is, after we did this on the first video, and uh, you can still see that the top is perfectly clean like the day we took it out of the box and it's been through every mud and water hole we could put it through uh, doesn't repel grass but anyway uh, so we thought we'd take it one step further and if you're out playing in the rain with the car what about your radio so we took it one step further and I pulled this thing apart wasn't the funnest thing in the world to do but it's doable so I pulled it apart and I sprayed all the components in this radio. So I think you guys can be the first ones to see it. I'm gonna put it in water over here in this cooler and we're gonna try and run this car. So I'm gonna put this right here because I have no idea how far the signal will go. But this is a standard, looks like an XP3-SS, 2.4 gigahertz, three channel radio from uh, Fantasy Hobby in Lakewood, Washington here. Uh, Bunch of good guys but anyway here we go i'm gonna go ahead and uh just dunk it underneath the water still got control of the car here so i'm gonna give it another dunk underneath the water i'm trying to trying to control the car is kind of uh, weird underneath the water but i still got full control of the car which is pretty cool. You can see, maybe you can get a closer shot here of the car, the radio under the water. I'm gonna go back in. Yeah, let me get the car straightened out. I'm gonna go back in underneath the water. Looks like I got full steering back and forth. Looks like my throttle's working okay. This radio is completely full of water right now. I mean, you can see it just pouring out of every orifice of this thing. And I still got full control of that car. Let me get some of the water out of there. It kind of feels awkward inside. But as you can see, I got full control of this car. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and maybe dunk her again. Completely underneath, filling up with water, getting heavy. And I still got full control of this car. I probably can control it under the water. Yeah, I can. It actually is giving me signal. kind of lose it a little bit underneath the water but now it's under the water and it seems to be working all right whoa crash and burn on the car but anyway you can see the water pulling out of that so I'm gonna walk over and get it
But anyway, that's what covers are for. They protect your car. But anyway, you can see I still have full control of this car. And this 